You had 18 year old Xavier Olesco. Now, he was popular in his high school. He played football. He was looking forward to going to college. And that was cut short because you had three Neanderthugs that was participating in taking his life senselessly. Xavier, about two years. Hunter Farrell found his friend, 18-year-old Xavier Holesco, left for dead in the driveway of his dad's white settlement home. He's relieved to know police have made an arrest. It was hard to sleep. I was very paranoid for, I don't know, and then finally heard last night. And just got my best night to sleep. Police say Olesco knew 23-year-old Sean Garrison and that the two planned to meet up. Detectives believe that Garrison, alongside his two brothers, 17-year-old Kyle and 18-year-old Ty, planned to rob Olesco, ultimately shooting him in the chest and taking off. Sean Farrell was home at the time of the shooting. They were trying to walk me around the tape, and I see both of my sons, and then I'm like, okay, where's, where's Xavier? And that's when uh, they turn around, I'm like, well, he's right there. And that, you know, that, that, that hits you. Wednesday, nine days after the fatal shot, Police arrested the brothers, one from a home on Cherry Lane and two others from this apartment complex off Emerald Crest Drive. Arrest made just a few miles from the Farrell home, where Alesco was living at the time. It is a, a, a big sigh of relief to know that, okay, you know, maybe we got, maybe there can be some justice for Xavier. I just hope they get justice. What the hook? And I hope. I hope it fix a lot, fixes a, a lot of people. A lot of people were broken by this. Friends say Alesco played football for Brewer High School and was excited to graduate. They say they'll always remember his sense of humor and his smile. All reminders of a life taken too soon. Before we start with the commentary, I want to reach out to our supporters and viewers to help us reach our 3,000 member goal on Patreon for a minimum of $2 or $5 per month. I want to thank every person that has joined us there. Because of you, this is why the show is still going on. Now, this young brother is very, very tragic for those Neanderthugs to take his life. This happened on September 18th. Now, while he was at uh, the residence that he was at temporarily, they called him out there. Now, he knew one of the Neanderthugs, the 23-year-old named Sean Garrison. He knew him. But they wanted to rob him. Rob him for what? A kid that age don't have anything. But yet these Neanderthugs shot him dead. Now, I want to know, where was his parents? Why were he allowed to be in White Settlement, Texas? Just That's just pause right there. White Settlement, Texas. Just like I did a story a while back about Plantation, Florida. I wouldn't be in no town called no white settlement or no plantation. Just not going to happen. It don't even sound right to me for me being a black man, being in a place like that. Now, his parents, wherever they at, lost their son. I didn't see anything in this video. Say he was popular in school. The few pictures I saw of him, I didn't see him with any black friends. Kind of remind me of something I saw before, but a few pictures don't really paint a whole picture of the young man because the Neanderthugs did a horrible thing, which we know this is what they practice constantly. The violence that happens and yet the media covers up the violence of the Neanderthug and do not call him public enemy number one. Do not teach to fear the Neanderthug, even though the numbers will tell you to have a caution and a fear of seeing a Neanderthug coming anywhere near you. Now, the Neanderthugs were career criminals. Now, it was reported Sean Garrison, he was indicted on a charge of injury to a child in Fort Worth, and he was accused of injuring a girl younger than 15 back in March of this year. The report notes the indictment indicates that Garrison harmed the child by pushing her against a hard object or surface, hitting her and biting her. I mean, he's a, he's a demon. That case was pending, but Garrison was released from jail on a $5,000 bond. His little brother was convicted twice of assault causing bodily injury in 2016, both charges being a class a misdemeanor. Now, further down, it said the first case was initially filed as a robbery. He was accused of assaulting a man by punching him, hitting him with a chain wrapped around his fist 
and scratching him, according to a criminal complaint. He received deferred adjudication, meaning it wouldn't have gone on his record, but the sentence was reinstated after the second assault charge, and he received 10 days in jail. He also convicted in July of possessing less than two ounces of marijuana, a class B misdemeanor, and sentenced to two days in jail. So this young brother was exposed to savage Neander thugs, and he lost his life because of it. Parents, we have to watch our children of being around the Neander thugs. Because as black people, yeah, we'll keep our kids away from Pookie and Ray Ray and Man Man and anybody else that's trying to commit some crimes. But don't lay down your guard for the Neander thug. I say have your guard up a hundred times more for the Neander thug. Because at least the thugs in our community, we can see them coming. You we usually know who they are or what they're about. But the Neander thug, you don't see them coming. You don't know what they got going on because this society covers constantly their crimes. They let them off. How many stories I have done where you even had them rape three month old children and still get a 90 day probation, rape women, go home uh, in a month. Don't have it on their record. Do some heinous things and this system protects them. So please always protect your children. Keep an eye out for the Neander thugs because the mainstream media would not speak about the Neander thug. And we must protect our children at all times because I don't want your child or my child to be in a position like this young brother lost his life at the hands of Neander thugs. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Share the video, like the commentary, subscribe for my news stories.